How did you become a soldier for Christ? I began praying for the people that would be otherwise damned many years ago. How are we any different from our enemies? We believe that unless a person eats the flesh and drinks the blood of Christ, a person cannot have life. What are we doing by fighting in this terrible war? This is not an afternoon sporting event that we will soon forget about, but instead it is a life or death struggle against the devil and all of his angels. Do you ever ask yourself why the enemy is so damned and far from God's salvation? Yes, in the parable of the rich man in hell. The question that arises is, who will listen to the voices of the damned as they cry out from hell? Will you listen to their voices? Suppose that I listen to the voices of the damned as they cry out from hell in the agony of eternal torment, how would this change the way that I live my life? You would not fight with the weapons of human design. Instead you would fight with arms, crafted by God to devastate every stronghold that sets itself against the knowledge of God. How exactly would such weapons of spiritual design work against the powerful forces of Satan and all of his angels? You must take the cross of Christ and drive it through the devil's skull until the rocks shatter, the ground shakes, and the sun turns to blood. How does such an act work to vanquish the power of the devil and his angels? Christ was crucified on a place called the skull, and as a result of rising from the dead he fulfilled the prophecy that states that man would crush the serpent's head. So you are basically saying that all I need to do is to drive the message of Christ's resurrection from the dead through the devil's skull until blood gushes out of his nose? Yes, you need to be crucified with Christ, so you can put more weight on the stake to drive it all the way through. How do I do that? How do I drive the stake all the way through? You must surrender to Christ in opposition to the world that seeks to crucify him, and you must thus put to death the sinful nature in order to live in him. If I become crucified with Christ and I live my life as a daily witness to his crucifixion and resurrection in my body, then will I have any material rewards from this earth? Yes, scripture teaches that the wedding supper of the Lamb of God will occur when the flesh and the slain is enjoyed by the birds of heaven, and the chosen ones enjoy the plunder.